Hey everybody, I'm Doc Murray, the husband of the one and only Amy Murray. I've uh, been uh, asked to build some of the carts that you see Amy using here at our shop and uh, I've been really busy with some other things so I uh, found some time and Amy is my camera woman today so I'm going to get right into putting this bad boy together okay this is uh specified by Amy the size she wanted a two foot by four foot cart for nightstand. For, for nightstand specifically yeah. for nightstands um, probably with the capability of putting two side by side or one at a time, either way. Uh, smaller, smaller pieces of furniture, um, not your, obviously not your, your dressers like the one that we have over. Uh, I'll pan that way. And she. That one's my favorite one over there. She liked the height on that. So I measured it all out and here's what I did. I got all my parts here. I've already pre-cut everything. I'm going to give you the measurements and you can go from there. You can make it longer, you can make it deeper, you can make it taller. So um, I have four foot two by fours right here. And these are 21 inches because I have to, if they're going to butt up against. So to be two, in order to be two foot, I have to take that three inches off inch and a half, inch and a half, minus three, 21, right? Two by two foot by four foot piece of thin plywood. I believe this is an eighth of an inch. Don't have to be real thick because it's not real wide. The weight is not going to be on top of this thing. And if there was, you could always put a brace in the, in the middle of that. These are the bigger little. ones have braces. Right. The longer ones have two two braces in the in the middle spaced out, um, just to support that weight. This is a four by four by fourteen. I made them fourteen inches long. I forgot, <laughs> but I made them fourteen inches long because with this it gives it that height that Amy wants. That's in the other part. This is a three inch polyurethane swivel caster also locking so once it's in the paint booth you can lock those casters in and the cart will not move but typically this smaller cart you're probably never gonna lock it while you're in the booth because you're gonna want to move it around and you got those at Harbor Freight right? Harbor Freight I got those at Harbor Freight love Harbor Freight uh, three inch screws. We're going to use three inch screws to tie the frame in together and tie the legs to the frame. Um, I always like to sand everything because it's, it's rough cut. Okay, you don't want to get any splinters while you're doing this unless you're wearing a pair of gloves, but I don't typically wear gloves. So I've gone and I've sanded all my edges, most of them. So I, I sand everything down just so it's not, it's not rough. Um, obviously my Ryobi drill, Phillips head bit. I have a regular Ryobi drill with a drill bit because I'm going to be pre-drilling my holes. And the reason I'll, I'll explain, the reason I pre-drill my holes is I don't want my wood to split as I'm putting it together. I'm, I'm just going to pre-drill. So I got three inches, so I'm going to pre-drill probably about half of that, and then let it. But I don't want to split this piece that the screws are going into. Um, I have uh, regular screws here that I'm going to be screwing in the the uh, casters to the bottom of the four by four. These are just roofing nails I have here. And I, I use roofing nails to tie in the top to the frame and wood glue. Uh, this is tight bond, original wood glue. Um, I use, also use Gorilla Glue, uh, Gorilla Wood Glue, um, any, any type, any kind of brand, any kind of wood glue. And I don't need my tape measure because I've already measured everything out. Uh, oh, and Amy's, let me borrow her little camera so that I can frame mine. I think it's to uh, tap in the uh, roofing nails to the top. All right, so I'm 
I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way real quick. Now, I think the, those four by fours are probably going to make it pretty heavy. Not too heavy. Any of these? And the good part about this is that it's not going to take too long. I've already sanded everything, measured everything. We're going to set everything out. All right. Here's your frame. Pretty simple, right? line everything up. I want everything to be even. I don't want, I don't like things to be crooked. I'm kind of OCD about that type of thing. But there's your frame. I'm going to make sure everything's straight. I could have, I could clamp. I don't know if I have clamps here or not. And I think they're in my garage. I think I'll clamp them. Probably best. It's easier. It would be easier to clamp. I'm going to go ahead and drill in the boat pieces. Holding it, holding it straight. I suggest you don't want to take it too hard. I'm going to put the screws in there. Nope, I'm going to bring them on. Just a three inch decking screw. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. These will go right into that. If you use the right size drill bit, okay, I, I didn't see what size drill bit is. I, uh, grab, I usually grab the drill bit that is the same size as the screw. Like I said, you don't want to split. Because then if, if your wood splits, If your wood splits, then you're losing stability on the part. And I, this is an impact uh, drill to make it easier for driving in the screws. Do the same thing over here. Make sure everything is straight. Sure when you're drilling your drill bits straight, going straight, you don't do it cockeyed, do it crooked. And uh, your screw's not going to go in straight. reason I pre-drill these holes is because these, when you're working with a, a little bit, pine's not real, real hard wood, but when you're doing things like this and it's not pre-drilled, you have a good chance of stripping the screw or breaking your fit. I hate stripping the screws out because then you got to take it out and put a new screw in. It's just a pain in the butt. So, that's another reason why I pre-drill, and the other reason why I use the impact drill, just for that easier drive, drive of the screw. I don't know if you can all see that. There's my screws.
remember how much this taxes were? I want to see they were four bucks a piece. So how how much do you think that this would like the whole thing cost oh. us to make? I Did you should've. you got enough plywood to make two of these, right? Yeah. Or is that just yeah, because the, the sheet the sheet that I bought was actually four by four. The the plywood was four by four, and all I did was cut it in half to make it two by four. So you can actually build two of these carts. You just have to buy extra two by four. I I have I have enough legs out of it. The four by four came in the eight foot um, eight foot piece. So I cut and figure twenty eight to twenty eight fifty six. Out of that, so you could make you could use the rest of that for another part as well. But uh, Home Depot or Lowe's don't cut all that to size for you, right? Yeah, if you don't have the means to do it at your house, uh, the saw is all you really need. I, I used a well, you used your cable saw and your use my Ryobi miter saw and I use my Ryobi um, battery power saw to cut the, the sheet. Um, so that's all you, I mean the sheet the sheet of plywood is the only thing that you would have to have cut at um, Home Depot unless you don't have a saw at all. So making a mess. Well, you know, women are like I won't use the saw. You know what I right. mean? Yeah. So sure, have it all like cut. if I, I could make this myself if I didn't have to use the saw. So, you know. Right. If I just but, took all the measurements in, they could cut it all. Uh, you could, you, as long as you had all your measurements and you took them into Home Depot, they would probably cut everything for you, or or Lowe's, or Daisy Beaver, or whatever, wherever you're going, uh, uh, 84 lumber, whatever. Um, yeah, they would, they would, I'm sure, gladly cut everything that you need to build. It's, so, um, not. I'm just going to put my sheet on and make sure we're square. Everything lines up nice. Don't have to be perfect. Like it's just a cart. It's just a piece of furniture going, going on a cart. You can see how sturdy it is. I like to put this on first because when I put the legs on, I'm going to run the legs all the way up against this. So it's going to be this will this will stop the legs from going coming up path and stuff too. So I'm gonna get it where it needs to be. My cut may or may not have been perfectly straight. Well, they're just they're just hard. But it's just I mean we hard. beat them up. So, you know. Are you gonna use the glue on that one? I can. I don't. I didn't use the glue on the on the mine. I mean, I don't really think glue is really super necessary, right? I mean, no, no, it's not. It's just something that. I grab. Yeah. Get everybody back. Now, if you were building a piece of furniture for like someone's home, you would use glue and all that jazz, right? Oh yeah. I feel like I'm not square and it's driving me nuts. Can you even hold it? No, it feels so oh. weird being on the other end of this. No. It's, like, it's not a big deal. I just, just don't want to hear the building house. And then working on ours. Little baby hammer. <laughs> don't break my baby hammer. I'll break the door. I could probably pre drill for these nails, but with a bigger hammer. Oh, <laughs> where'd I go? That was a fail. That was an epic fail. I don't know. Where you I think you better screw the. Maybe I should have some there. safety glasses on. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. Some screw safety glasses, yes. Safety where glasses. Your, where, where are your safety glasses? <laughs> Bad things can happen with baby hammers. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not worried about my safety. Uh, I'm just going to. Now move. that's where our son gets a job. No regard for your personal safety. I'm just going to drill enough through the uh, the plywood because the plywood is layered. It's a little bit harder. show you when I do these I want it tight up against the corner so I know my corners good and square and I'll put a screw here and a screw here at an angle and then I'll probably do the same on the other side depending on the, the amount of weight you're going to have on it this isn't going to hold a whole lot of weight so I could probably put one screw in each side but I like stability. So I'm going to probably do two screws on each side. Counter 
was thinking. Just a little bit. I was thinking a little bit, and uh, that'll pull. If this if this ends up a gap here, that screw will pull that in nice and tight. I'll be able to answer any questions later on. Make sure all these are the same length. Make sure these are all the same length. If these aren't the same length, you're going to have a wobble. And if this isn't square or, or flat, that's why I put the, the top piece on. So these just sit on there. I know they're all right up against there. They're, they're, all, they're all flush. But if one of these is just a little bit off, your cart's going to Your cart's going to have a wobble. All right? So let's not do that. All right, well, there's our legs. I see. <coughs> These are our legs. Pretty simple so far, huh? Casters. They're going to sit like that. I obviously am going to. I'm going to eyeball the casters. They don't have to be right in the middle of this 4x4, four four, but I'm going to be pretty good at eyeballing things straight. And there's no particular. No particular way it needs to be turned because it swivels. But you do want to have a small enough, um, small enough screw head when that goes in there that's not going to stick up and interfere with. I imagine if you wanted to. These casters are more beefy than our, our other ones. Yeah. That one, those ones were built a little bit different. Casters? Well, we keep, every time you build one, we make some improvements. So that's to be expected. But yeah. that one, my favorite one, man, we, we moved that huge armoire on it. And it held up. That thing was heavy. It was like, it was a good couple hundred pounds, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that was that was a quick build. I mean, well, I think that's probably why I was like last minute. Hey, we've got a live train Friday. I need you to build me something. <laughs> and it was probably Thursday. <laughs> probably, but that that's not the first time that you've done that. <laughs> Yeah, guilty, guilty, guilty. But the uh, 
the other ones, the legs are only two by fours, which those with a big cart over here should probably be taken. I could, that's why, but another reason why I probably screw everything together is I can unscrew it and take it apart. Um, nails are hard and you gotta, you gotta pry them out and then you gotta, they're all bent up. And, oh yeah, so if I wanted this one taller, you so, could just unscrew it. Yeah, all I would have to do is unscrew the legs and, and put longer legs on them. Like that one's got two by four legs. I can unscrew them legs and put four by four legs on just to beef it up. Which I'm probably going to do. So you've got to be the judge what you're going to be using it for. Let's turn it around. You got to be the judge of what you're using it for and how how that. Not real heavy. I mean, I wouldn't want any of these You can put longer screws, you can put shorter screws, as long as. I've used lag bolts. I've used lag bolts in these. They're, they're real beefy. And uh, they hold you up. You have no issue holding your casters. Casters are, some of them are rated. Most of them are rated. I'm sorry, most of them are rated. All of them are rated. This one, these are rated for um, 121 pounds, being that it is smaller for nightstands and stuff. Um, they don't need any more than 121 pounds. We're not going to have anything that's real heavy. And I think that's just a, a safe guesstimate, I would say, on, on these. They, they would probably. But, you know, they gotta, they gotta be conservative on it, so that's what so they don't get in trouble. All right, one more to go. That's definitely my favorite part. It's the perfect height. Because I can get on my stool. Maybe that.
four foot by two foot. Awesome. It's perfect. I will finish putting a couple of nails in here with the baby hammer. And um, you could also, if you wanted to, put a, like a cross beam from leg to leg just to, for that, that extra stability. Um, like I said, I don't, for what's going to be on here, I don't think there's a need for that. Um, I think she's, I think she's pretty sturdy. I mean, she's not on the floor, but pretty simple. Thank you. I guess if there's any questions later on, I'll be uh, around, or Amy will be around to answer any of those questions you got. All right. Cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.